what is full stack development how to become a full stack developer and sir is full stack development a good career options these are the questions that i have been getting since the last two to three months so i decided to make a complete roadmap of full stack development and also tell you about the projects and the latest languages and frameworks that you should learn to become a better full stack developer in 2023 so if you are wanting to become a full stack developer then stay till the end this video is for you so if you want to become a good web developer you should firstly be good with your core concepts now when i say core concepts it includes html css and javascript so a lot of time you might be seeing people running behind just learning a framework or a library like react or node right because there is a lot of requirement of react developer node developer but under the hood all of these frameworks and libraries use a language which is nothing but javascript so if you master javascript and even if you do not have much knowledge of this framework you can eventually learn this framework because these frameworks and libraries will come and go today there is a react tomorrow there is there will be something else if today there's angular tomorrow they can be view also so instead of focusing more on the frameworks you have to focus more on your core concept to become a good web developer then only the company can place a bet on you then that, that even if this framework goes away you will be capable enough to learn a new framework within a given time now how much time will it take to learn html or how much time should we spend on all of these things like to learn html you can just take a week right take one or one and a half month to master css right? because css has a lot of things like you can even create elements html elements using css so learn css learn a responsive design now how can you learn these by making different uh, websites now where can you take inspirations from you can create a clone of an e-commerce website or of a social media website or even of let's say a blog posting website so you create clone of all of these things once you're done with html css jump onto javascript hone onto javascript let's just read it day in day out watch videos or whatever is your method of learning just do that and learn javascript so it should take you at least one and a half month to two months to learn everything related to javascript once you learn all of these things you make projects right in javascript dom manipulation is very very important right because or like even the frameworks or libraries will make your DOM manipulation easy but let's say if the framework is not there can you make a project without any framework that is the very very important question so you have to learn how DOM manipulation works how to search the element how you can create an element change an element and these are just the basics that i'm talking about when you go deeper you'll understand a lot of different uh, things of you know optimizing uh, even your scripts when it comes to javascript so once you learn javascript just make projects using uh, whatever you had made already with html css just add functionalities using javascript now once this is done then the time is to pick a framework or a library now there are a lot of frameworks and a lot of libraries in the market the question always is which one to choose from right so you basically have to uh, look at the market trend and what is the library or framework that all the developers are using and all the companies are also using so currently companies are using react right react is very very popular it may be popular for the next two years or for the next five years or for the next 10 years also right but it's it's so it depends upon the time period for a framework so currently react library is being used so learn react right it will take you another one or two months to learn react and you have to make projects also right so if you make good projects using react you then basically become a react developer now since this is 2023 and there are a lot of new tech stacks also that people require so you also have to learn redux right or zustand what is redux or what is zustand these are nothing but react state management library right we all know react basically works on states itself so for state also you know in order to optimize the code there are libraries also like react and zustand and there are other libraries also but these two libraries are used a lot because zustand is a lightweight library uh, i think most of you might have not heard the term called as zustand just search about it, you'll understand it so once you learn react then you learn redux or you learn zustand either of the library is good enough and you just need to learn one library we'll find a lot of resources about redux so you can just start with redux and read the documentation of zustand you'll understand zustand also once you do learn this thing make a project with redux also right so this basically uh, is like learning something and also applying it somewhere because as a developer you have to show your work right now once you learn html css javascript react and a library like let's say redux what you can what you become you become basically a front-end developer 
Right, full stack development is nothing but divided into two parts. One is a front end developer, other is a back end developer. Now we spoke about front end developer. Once you learn all of these things, and let's say you make projects, right? You make projects, put them on GitHub, uh, host it somewhere like Netlify or even using GitHub also. And then you can show it to someone that once you do this, you can apply uh, for the role of front end developer. And if you have done all of these things on your own, no one can stop you. And I bet you basically can get a good, uh, decent job as a front end developer, right? Now to add Cherry on top of this, you can also learn a testing library also like react testing library right because whenever we write codes we also write test cases also right this is the first thing that we generally do let's let's say if you go to a bigger company right they always write testing cases for everything that you do let's say you're adding something to cart or removing something from a cart or whatever is a functionality it is so if you learn testing library also then it gives you an edge uh, among all the candidates because a lot of people do not learn testing libraries so for front end you can learn react testing libraries that is good enough or you can also learn jest also jest is another uh, testing library but learning react testing library is good enough because you are going to build your front end using react itself right so this is the roadmap to become a front end developer now we talk about what back end development is now back end development is basically mastering database and mastering something like a processing language something to process your apis your endpoints from where basically you are actually going to get your data now mastering database is actually a very critical thing because mastering the complete database will take you another uh, three to four months but you can learn the basics in just one month now when i say mastering database like understanding how you can interrelate small chunks of data inside it how you can basically scale a uh, data database well you no know, handling hundreds of data is is very easy very simple but when your data goes into millions right uh, crores of data then it becomes a very tedious task so you have to understand that also but that basically will come uh, with your experience and when you go to a company something like that now coming uh, to choosing a processing language so if you have done the front end development you learn javascript then the processing language should be javascript and the framework that you can choose basically is node.js or express right so express is actually built on node.js itself and what projects can you create as a backend developer you can create apis right you can could create good apis of an e-commerce website where there is an api for product listing page there's an api for search there's an api for adding product to cart for adding product to wishlist and all the functionalities actually require api under the hood now the same logic you can apply for all different applications also let's say a travel app right so think what can be the api let's say a quiz app think what can be the api and how you can basically interrelate the database now when we talk about database which database is a question you can learn any database that you want right you can learn sql also you can learn mongodb also but currently a lot of people ask mern stack so the m in mern stack is actually mongodb so learn mongodb that will actually help you a lot in finding better jobs now instead of let's say if you do not want to learn uh, express or you just want to become a back-end developer and you're good with python so you can go with django or flask also right django a lot of companies actually use django and flask also for their back-end development so it's not necessary that you have to only learn node.js you can choose a framework so a framework is just a tool right the the end goal is to create an api from where you can get the data now even if you see the trend go language is also on the rise where a lot of people are actually using go language golang also so golang also is used for back-end development so you can have a look at that also you can also learn the basics also that will also give you an edge right now this is basically a roadmap to become a full stack developer you first you learn front-end development and then you also learn back-end development also and then you become a complete full stack developer right now there is one more programming language which is also taking a rise and also becoming more popular among developers is typescript right typescript is also built over javascript itself so let's say if you just want to become a front-end developer so my suggestion to you would be after learning redux or zustand right just learn typescript also before learning the testing library learn typescript because a lot of companies might ask you that you know typescript or not even if you know the basics and can create a very basic project let's say like a notes app or a quiz app using typescript that will be a cherry on the kick which will give you an edge or elevation among the different candidates right now whenever you go for an interview right the interviewer is expecting something from you and what is the interviewer expecting from you is the interviewer expecting projects from you 
So you have to basically show that you are valuable. How can you show that you are valuable? By showing them projects. So make at least four to five projects. There are a lot of ideas, right? There can be a travel app, an e-commerce app, a social media app, a movie library, a notes app, a component library like uh, Tailwind, uh, CSS, right? Or Bootstrap CSS or Material UI also. So you can create some projects like this. Have a GitHub repository for all the projects and host the projects. This is very, very important. I get a lot of resumes where they just send the GitHub link. Now I can't, you know, zip the code or clone the GitHub repository and then run it locally. I generally do not do that. I will not do that, right? So first I just want to see what the UI is how the UI is looking. Try to make the UI uh, very uh, good, very beautiful by adding limited colors, making it very aesthetic, something like that. Right? So ha have a live link. You can host your front end on Netlify, GitHub, host your back end on uh, Cyclic because Heroku is now is charging. So there is Cyclic. There are other things also when you search, you basically find it, right? Host it somewhere. And secondly, the very important thing is your code quality. But your code quality should be very good. Initially, when you are when you are learning, when you are doing, uh, when you are learning, the code quality is not important. But when you make couple of projects, right after the third fourth project, the code quality should improve. How can you imp improve your code quality? Just read different people's code, right? Go on to GitHub, right? Read their codes, see how they are using their uh, variable naming, uh, functional programming, function naming. Have a look at that and then write your code accordingly. So your code, your code should always be functional functional programming code, right? There should be good variable name, good functional name. There should be comments also, documentation also, right? Your readme file should always tell about the project. There should be a live link. So all of these things basically are a component of you basically be creating a channel for you to be ahead of different people, right? Do these steps and you'll excel a lot uh, in your interview. So that's it from this video. If you found it very informative, like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.